Portugal, we're just hanging out here. Don't worry, dude. You know, it's a training exercise. Uh, we lost a dog. His name is... Dog. Hello, Wine and Trillisium, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4, 1.9 update, a Le Resistance DLC expansion, which should be out, I think, today, if this video is coming out when I think it is, otherwise it's already out. Uh, so, this is no longer sponsored by Paradox, for his free videos were, but the videos going forwards are not, so I can say what I want, which is pretty much what I've been saying all along. Anyway, uh, we are playing at Spain, the Regional Defense Council of Aragon, and today... I think we've got two things to do. Firstly, get to almost bear the torch, which fixes our economic problem. Or at least does a good chunk of solving our economic problem. It basically is a uh, replacement for your economy law, which gives you collectivized society. Which I think is a really good call. But if we can get down to Portuguese anarchism, we can take Portugal. And while that's all the way down here, we can just go bloop, 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 bloop. We're already working on that. And getting this sooner means we're probably not going to get tied into any bigger wars. We'll probably have a pretty good time. I think that's the right call. Uh, secondly, well, let's just chuck these units out and get them training. And I'm actually going to chuck you in here. And someone told me this really good tip. I don't know when this changed, but if you shift click, you'll only train those that need it until they've maxed out how much training they can really benefit from. Which is going to be really handy. So, we'll get those working. Uh, also, there's one thing I do want to change which I need to talk about, which is this. Mass Assault Doctrine. So, I went for Mass Assault Doctrine kind of based on a, hey, it's extra recruitable population, that's always good. I always suffer with a bit of difficulty in that when we try and, like, go wide and take over as many countries as possible. But also because it's like, hey, you know, that makes sense. We're, we're anarchists, so let's go Mass Assault. But thinking about it, it doesn't. Like... I know anarchism is relatively closely associated with communism, except uh, right now, actually, it's a non-aligned faction. It's not communism. It's just closely associated with it. We're actually a non-aligned faction. Um, but I kind of see it the other way around. Anarchism is all about, like, self-determination, individual person, individual responsibility, um, taking part in a whole. And while Mass Assault Doctrine sounds like it's a bit like that, it's actually more about just chucking people at the problem. But chucking people at the problem is literally a top-down approach of, like, someone has to be chucking the people. The people probably just don't, like, throw their own lives at the problem. So, we kind of probably should be going down this route. And part of the reason I didn't is that narrative reasoning, which I think is maybe thinking about it wrong. But secondly, because uh, superior firepower has been a bit nerfed. And I thought the nerf was bigger than it was. It's actually not quite as bad because there is a buff later on in the tree. Uh, but it's now a 20% rather than, a, sorry, a 10% rather than 20 cent bonus to soft attack uh, at one stage. And then you also do get a 5% bonus if you get down to shock and awe. You get a 5% to soft attack for all frontline battalions. So that helps back it back up. I mean, it's a long way away, but it's pretty useful. Mobile Warfare also has had a nerf, I think. Somewhere there is something that's got a nerf of 5%. So that's normally my other choice because it does have a recruitment population bonus. But with the recruitment population bonuses we've got from being anarchist, we could probably just run Spear of Firepower. Even with the nerf, I think it's worth it. Maybe it's this. Maybe this used to be 20 and is now 10. I don't think so. Something in here is now 10 instead of 20. Hmm. Maybe it's this one. Either way, we're gonna... I don't think it is. Which one was it? Either way, we're going to go down and we're going to grab this. And I know that we've already put points. We've, we've spent a year researching Mass Assault. And we could continue based on that. Be like, hey, we put it in and we might as well keep going. But I think that's, that's a sunk cost fallacy. I think the better option is to accept that I picked the wrong one and spend 100 experience to try and catch back. It's going to take 21 days if we do that. I think it's maybe the right... Ooh, or we could just research it at the short period and then... Spend our experience on the next one because we'll get 180 days for free rather than just 90 days for free. Yeah, we'll research you normally. And yes, we will lose Mass Assault. I think it's the right call. Uh, now, if we're going to be going on Portugal, we'll probably want you to do some, like, intelligence work. But more importantly right now, 
we've got resistance spiking, and I do not want that to happen. So, let's put you in Glacia and get you to root out resistance. That's one of the things you can do with your intelligence agencies. Oh, uh, people have also been asking why we don't do anything extra with the intelligence agencies. And part of that is we don't have plans to go and attack anyone else in particular other than Portugal right now. So no one particularly big. And secondly, because it takes five of our civilian factories to upgrade any of these. And we don't have many. In fact, we've got only six available, which is really bad. So we probably just need to hold back on that. I will line up a few more civilian factories when you're done. Get going on that. Also, I'm not going to do any decisions. I want to try and save up for getting some advisors. Not of manpower. We need 16 inch equipment, 25 inch equipment, 40. Sure. Okay. Right. We got motorized. That's useful, but again, we can't really do anything with that until we have rubber to actually build them. And even then, we need to associate a factory with that. So we're going to grab synthetic oil experiments, which allow us to build a refinery, which will give us rubber in addition to fuel gain. That's going to be quite important for us. We don't have the presence overseas that other people do to be able to use that. And then we'll grab almost better torch. This gives us recruit population, which we don't really need right now. Manpower's getting a bit low. But that will change soon enough. And do we going to kick you out and just get you to train? Yeah. Chuck you in there, get you training again. What about now? Nah, there's no equipment. There's no point training anyone here. We need infantry equipment. We desperately need artillery. We need support equipment. Okay. I'm actually going to put an infantry equipment factory over onto towed artillery. Yeah. Those massive minuses we're getting. A lot from stability. Stability we won't be able to solve, but Clickify Society will certainly help alleviate some of that. Okay, right, there's a 25% resistance down here. I don't really care. Oh, also, I'm sneezing, not sneezing, sneezing, not sneezing, okay. I'm gonna group you all up. There we go. And since we're gonna be going off on Portugal, go to park yourselves over here and then give you naval training exercises. Because right now, our pride of the fleet is fresh. And that's a bit silly. It's going to cost us a lot of fuel. We might even need to import a bit more. Which uh, I'm not looking forward to. Oof. Yeah, we're losing much equipment as people are training. I wonder if anyone would actually lease them to us. Probably not. Yeah, we need high wall tension. Almost bear the torch. Oh, that's so helpful. I'll go over the exact details of what that does. But before we do that, threats abound, which will lead us to Portuguese anarchism. Yeah, no difference training. Uh, so if we have a quick look at our... Where is it? Here we go. Collective Vice Society. Consumer Goods Factories, 15%. Civilian to uh, military to civilian and civilian to military conversion cost, minus 30. Max factories in a state, plus 10%. Production efficiency retention, plus 10%. Efficiency cap and growth, minus 20. Research speed, minus 10. Factory output, plus 70. Docket output, plus 70. Free repair, plus 50. Resistance target, minus 20. And then construction speed of military, plus 30%. Construction speed of civilian, minus 15%. 
that's actually really handy. I think we might even switch a few of our factories from being military back to civilian after we're done with Portugal and use them to build on military factories because we get construction speed of military factories plus 30%, so it's, it's pretty useful. Um, of course, we do have a stability of 7%, which is bad, uh, which is really causing some massive deficits. Like, it's like, hey, you get plus 70%. I mean, that's, you know, minus 42%, so it's roughly like a plus 28% buff, really, because you just don't have stability as an anarchist government, so... Don't take that as a, oh my god, 70%, that's amazing. It's like, yeah, it's good, but you do suffer a minus 42% because of your stability as Anarchist, so bear that in mind. Right. Uh, I don't really want to go any higher than you, so that's all good. Get to come back. Sikyang joined Government of National Defense. Ooh. Yunnan joins the government of national defense. Chinese United Front forms. Ooh, hello. Interesting. Shangxi joins. Right, we got radio. We got a computing machine. We need the buffs to research. We just have like a minus 10% is not great. And then plus the decisions. Uh, here we go. Focus tree. You'll see that we've actually skipped literacy program in favor of going quickly to war with Portugal because we need to get one, two, and then into there for three to really get the literacy program. I'm hoping that the economy is going to be much more important to jumpstart that than it is to just get a bit more research. Right. I don't think we're going any higher than just trained, because we need the experience. Uh, not the experience, sorry, the infantry equipment. Yeah, there we go. Starting to tick up. We're making 10 guns per day. 10 guns. It's a really good job. Our entire country. Oh, 14 guns. Good lord, we're making 15 guns a day? What kind of industry do we have? There must be madmen. Right. How close are we to doing this? I'm getting there. Because we're going to have to move our intelligence agents into Portugal to get some intelligence on them, and then I think we'll move you over here. Now, modify government. Before we do that, I want to just quickly check something. Master of Our Own Fates is here. We've already completed that. So we're actually locked out from a lot of people. Has not completed Master of Our Own Fates. Right. So when we do Master of Our Own Fates, we kick out a whole load of people and they become impossible for us to actually get. Um... Offensive Military Council. Division tech up plus 10%. That's pretty good. Military High Command. Division attack 15, division defense plus 20. That's good. That's pretty good, but I think it's much more important to get our council theorists. Ah, oh, we need communal military strategies for that. Damn. I want the passive tick to uh, our experience. That'd be very handy. Oh, artillery research speed, tempting. Support unit research speed. That is actually really useful. There's a lot of support units we want to go for. What would the other option be? Do we have like a an industry or something? Kind of industry. So in factory construction speed ten percent. Refinery construction speed. Uh, construction speed. Construction speed. Ten percent. That would be very helpful. Would that be better than support equipment? Gotta say on balance, it's gonna be support equipment. 
because that's probably what we're going to be going hard into researching soon. Like, 40 units is good for where we are, but I'd like them to be tougher. Threats abound. Great. Portuguese anarchism, which means we're going to need to select half of you. Give you... Ooh, Linda. Nice. You're adaptable. You're in. And then you will be moving up to Portugal. Portugal, don't worry about this. It's uh, just a training exercise of some kind. Wait, why did we not make a double front line? Oh, because you're still um, guarding the coast. Sure, there we go. And then offensive line, honestly, everywhere. Seems good to me. And then... Build Intel Network. Get to Lisbon. And that way we can start seeing what's going on. Actually, look at that. They do not have the units to stop us. Might need to import a bit more fuel. We'll probably be okay for this war. It'll be a quick one. This is why I want to trigger this war early on. Anschluss! Okay. Germany's getting bigger. Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon. Ooh. They are meddling with the world order. Hungary are going to start claiming. Okay. We still do need to get rid of these three. Actually, anarchist society won't ever get rid of. But recurring from civil war, disbanded army, those two. That's kind of important. Uh, superior firepower. Which we're going to run in here. And we're going to half the time. Yeah, that's the right call, I think. I mean, I do want to have the experience to be able to work on our divisions and make them a bit better. But this is much more important. Mmm, tea. Portugal, we're just hanging out here. Don't worry. Don't worry, dude. We just, you know, it's a training exercise. Uh, we lost a dog. The army's out looking. It's a very important dog. Um, his name is... Dog. Don't worry about the forces on your doorstep. Please. We're good. We're friendly. We're just having a look. We've come to enjoy the coastline. On the other side of your country. It might mean that we need to walk across it. To get there. That's cool, right? Cool? Cool. Great. Anyway. How are we doing for equipment? Oh, infantry equipment is just fantastic. Oh, almost tempted to go down even further on infantry equipment. I'm gonna do it. Artillery is our problem. Massively. Minus 2k is huge. Synthetic oil experiments. Thank you. Okay. That will give us a bit. Um, we will have to grab... There's infantry equipment to grab. Yeah, grab support weapons. Definitely feeling the lack of that fourth research slot. Okay, Portuguese anarchism. Our war freedom is spilled over the Portuguese border, and the government is being destabilized. With the proper support, it is not unthinkable a full-scale anarchist uprising might occur within the borders. We must light this flame. Sweet. And then we call them with the next decision. Okay. We'll go back and start working on autogestion. Uh, we've also got Share the Burden, which reduces our consumer goods factories, but I want to try and get to literacy program. Also, look at that. Manpower. Oof. Oof. Right. They're getting a decision right now. They just need to decide on it. 
think it'll take them like half a day a day might be the tick of the day they do it oh there we go Portuguese anarchism Maximus Portugal declared war on Portugal Portugal Maximus which means you're Portugal Minimus Ever since Aragonese anarchists fighting spilled over into the Portuguese border, local anarchist supporters have flocked to our cause with some well-prepared and executed encouragement. Pro-anarchist sentiment has spread like wildfire among the younger members of Portuguese society. As a result of the transfer of Aragonese anarchist weapon caches to these Portuguese anarchist cells, the situation in Portugal has escalated to the point where the government is now suppressing a full-blown uprising. The leaders of this uprising now requested a more official and direct aid proposing we take the lead in the global anarchist struggle and suggesting they join us more formally once the fighting subsides. We eagerly welcome their support for the anarchist cause. They become a puppet and they join us in the war. Okay, and I think after the war they will actually just join us, so I'm gonna just tell everyone to just start moving. Air wings, uh, S priority. Naval naval and then air wings cool okay boats yes ships i know i'm actually gonna want to separate you out Because I don't want the big ships running the ridiculous amount of fuel they're going to. And then we're going to be on convo raiding. There we go. And I'm actually going to tell you to go super aggressive. Right now, the only real chance they have is if they get support from elsewhere. We have numbers. Like, there's, there's huge gaps in their front line. Well, if you can, just run straight to Lisbon. This war should be over by Christmas. I mean, if it, I hope it is. It should be over in about two months. If it's still going in six, then damn. Well done. I think troops here just aren't fighting because they're like, hey, we don't need to fight. This is a friend. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And then all of you who are really confused are like, what are we doing here? I don't know where the army lines have gone. We've got... Very confused right now. There we go, they're back. I don't know where they went away. Also, I don't know why the line is now here. It's very strange. There, enjoy. They have stopped our ridiculous advance, which is a shame. You can try it then. Oh, we might actually make it to Lisbon. Yep, we made it to Lisbon. Okay, uh... Cut them in half? Take their new capital? Also, thank you to everyone who's trying to, like, give me advice on how to pronounce uh, everything Spanish. It's not gonna happen, because I'm really bad at that, but thank you very much. Uh, like... Sevilla is more like... What was it? Sevilla? Also, the J's. I should know that, because it's like fajitas, not fajitas. So I should remember J's. Yes. That's the only real run-in I have with uh, any sort of Spanish word being in the UK. Obviously, like, I know a lot of people that watch these are in America. You have a lot more closer, like... A lot more closer, yeah. My English is good. It's almost as good as my Spanish. Uh, a lot more of a close relationship to the Spanish language because, you know, you've got Mexico right next door. Britain has France, so I can pronounce French words a bit better. And even then, we've got a channel, so uh, I, I don't really know. The closest I ever have to actually any Spanish language is generally when I have um, a little walk down the shopping aisle. And it's like, oh, look, Spanish food. That's really good and tasty. We don't have Spain on our doorstep or Mexico, so... That's as close as I get, so that's... You know, I should at least remember that much. 
But I realize that, you know, anyone watching this in America probably is a lot more aware. And especially anyone watching this in any Spanish-speaking countries. I say America generally because uh, being an English speaker and having my videos being in English, I generally get a lot more people from America watching. So if you are watching from a Spanish-speaking country, yes, you've got all the rights to look down at how I pronounce everything. I'm sorry. My language skills are not great, as you have noticed by my ability to speak English. Um, there we go. We have won. We got equipment. It was that. Did that take like two weeks? I think it took like two weeks. Damn. It took 12 days. Damn, Portugal. We'll bring them under our protection. <laughs> uh, we annex them straight out. That's done. Okay. Let's give everyone just a defense order so they can hang around. Speaking of which, we've still got this silly British unit just sitting here. Brits. You know, they say they want out of Gibraltar. Like, oh, we don't want to be part of Gibraltar anymore. We want to take back control. We're going to stand our unit here, causing manpower tick because it's exiled. That is one issue that is still in the game, is that um, the AI is not particularly good about removing exile units, especially if it's from a decision, I think. If it's like a military problem or something like that, or a peace deal, maybe it's better. But when it comes to decisions, I've definitely seen them end up in the situation where, like, it's exiled. Okay, and... Not to move it? No? Okay. It's going to cost you manpower tick. Like, it's a bit dumb. Come on. Alright, you can come back to port. And, ooh, hello. Got ourselves some ships. Nice. Right, how many of these need trading? Ooh, quite a few, actually. I'll let them do naval exercises. That'll cost us fuel, but... Eh. Actually, not bad. In terms of our naval size, actually. Also, intelligence. Um, I'm actually going to send you... I'm just going to send you to build an intelligence network around Aquitaine, because that way we'll know what's on the French border. It might end up being that we actually go to war with France once Germany goes to war and just try and grab something. It's possible we won't, but I, I want to have the option. Ah. Um, you should also train. Okay. Right. Let's also build a refinery. That'll give us one rubber, which will be enough to make a factory work on building motorized. And we'll probably put you here. It'll also give us passive fuel tick, which will be great. And I think we build another one, but put it like the bottom of the priority. We've got an unassigned division, which is a cavalry that we captured. I do not care about you. I would rather get the equipment back. And... There we go. A couple of units of, hey, we joined you up. Whatever. Uh, national defense. Seeking strength in numbers. Cool. Yes. The Air Force is very annoyed right now that they don't have anyone. I'm actually going to... We could put you on experience. Shift click, there we go. Just give you some practice. Oh, that said... Yeah, do it with experience. We're going to run out of fuel in like three and a half months. Oof. We could get more fuel in from America, but since it's only training, I'm not worried. We'll end the training relatively soon. Right. 
Uh, you should not defend the coastline so that you can actually defend other places. Oof. That fuel usage of those battleships. That's the big one. Everyone's trained up enough to be competent now. I'm going to take the battleships off. Look at that. Suddenly, fuel usage is much better. All right, we've got autogestion. Let's get collectivization and workers' controls, which will give us factory output 5%, and be close to the literacy program, which is important. That said, regional defense council will be helpful. Um, yeah, regional defense council. Wait, what? No, wrong one. I meant that one. Regional Defense Council is final. We get our cause, but I kind of want to try and get literacy programs sooner. And you're trained enough for me now. The fourth international. How many, many internationals will there be? I mean, they didn't invite me, so I don't really mind. It's not my problem. It just would be nice to have been asked, you know? Fine. It's a shame the war ended so quickly. We could have done with more arm experience. We could get people training to just give us experience, but I don't think we can afford the equipment. Computing machine. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Our car, no. It might well be that we actually start doing some of the companies now. Yeah, until next year, industry can't go forwards. We'll do the companies and it's gonna be field hospital. It's too useful. Field Hospital is basically a must-have on pretty much everyone. Now, if I were to train... 8, which will make these 24 each, would that be a problem? Support equipment and total artillery, okay. That's fine. I want to try and make some adjustments. Like, I want to make you 40 width, but to do that, we're going to need to double everything, which is going to be expensive. And it's going to be expensive in terms of experience, because we'll need experience to do that. Construction on that is going well. I think I'll chuck in a couple more civilian factories and push this one down to the bottom. Right. Improved infantry equipment. Yes, I know you have no mission set. It's fine. You don't need a mission set. Right. Collectivization and workers' controls. Per... Literacy program. Easy choice. And in a few days' time, we'll be able to get. Come on, goes to 150. Modify government. How do we get you? Communal military strategies. Where is that? Ah, here. Mm. Yeah, I think we're going to have to probably, after this, grab that, then grab Share the Burdens. Also, Share the Burdens is pretty quick. It's 35 days. Yeah, probably after this we grab Share the Burdens, a new way of warfare, 
communal military strategies, and then we grab regional defense. And then maintain the fire, hopefully three to four at some point, but it does need 50 factories or more. Is there anything good down here? Militarize the people. Militarize the industry. Improve military infrastructure. Fortify, fortify, fortify. Communal anarchy. Eh. Anarchism knows no borders. That would be helpful. Just for war gold time, minus 75%. Plant the seeds of revolution. And then Global Defense Council. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy enough with that. What are we going to grab? Uh, it wasn't the theorist. It was Captain of Industry to get that civilian construction speed. And refinery construction speed. I think that's, that's a solid pick. It's 10%, but at the end of the day, we need all the buffs we can get on that one. Right. We got delay. Mobile defense. It's going to take a while. But we did just get our very first refinery, which means we can add a motorized. And yeah, you'll take a while. Like, we can build 3.5 trucks a week good job us but over time that'll get better I'm still really worried about the artillery in fact I'll make sure the next two factories go onto that and like we do have gun stockpiled but we'll need them in mass quantities later on so um, probably something like that's going to be our importance maybe Oh, I won't put extra motorized in because we don't have the rubber. So, yeah, that's probably how it's uh, got to be got to be laid out. Production efficiency growth is painful. Minus 20% on that, but oh well. Anyway, with that said, I think this is where we end the episode. We're in a good state. We took over Portugal. We're stronger. We have 20 civilian factories now. We're getting there. We're... Getting somewhere, at least. How many factories do you have? Oh, I don't have any intelligence on you because I haven't sent an operative. In fact, what can I do with an operative? Still finding out about Aquitaine? Oh, we've got operations. <gasps> we need two operatives. Oh. Infiltrate army. Ooh. So cool. Steel industry blueprints. Ooh. Yes. But we need operatives for this, and we don't have operatives. We need more. We need upgrades. They only take 30 days. I think this is where we start doing it. I think next episode we go Spy Master. Well, not the actual Spy Master, but we go in on the intelligence front. For now, I've been Andrew Lysium. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe. Uh, go check out the game if you want. The, the DLC is probably now out, I'm guessing. Uh, so, Le Resistance is out and the 1.9 update. Please put your, your likes, subscribes, comments down below. Again, really helps. Help support the channel, help support the video, help support the series, you know. But until next time, I've been Andrew Elysium. Pronounce these Spanish words wrong and stay shiny.